Hi, I'm Dr. Mustafa Yakut. I'm going to present summary of our original article titled Response Tailored Protocol versus the Fixed 12 Weeks Duration of Dual Sufosbuvir Daclatasvir Treatment in Egyptian Patients with Chronic Hepatitis C Virus Infection. Hepatitis C is an enveloped virus that belongs to Flaviviridae family of single positive stranded RNA viruses. The latest easel 2016 guidelines on treatment of hepatitis C allowed for shortening the course of dual sofosbuvir plus lidibasvir treatment to eight weeks for subset of patients based on a lower baseline HCV RNA virus load cutoff value. Although low baseline virus load is one of the determinant factors for response, it is not a guarantee for absence of resistance at other host or virus levels, example the presence of resistant associated substitutions of high levels of resistance. Therefore, we suggested to assure a positive early on treatment response at week 2, very rapid virologic response, before taking the decision of shortening the duration. This suggested positive response tailored duration therapy is totally different from the formerly adopted negative response guided therapy in the pre-direct acting antiviral drugs era with the stopping rule at week 12. As now, with the higher success rates in shorter times, early virus response kinetics became strong positive predictor for SVR12, but weak negative predictor for treatment failure. Given that combinations of highly efficacious direct acting antiviral drugs that gave very high SVR12 rates when given for 12 or 24 weeks durations failed to have similarly high rates when given for shorter times, especially in cirrhotic patients, so the speed of virus load reduction could be regarded as an efficacy marker as it combines both factors, the bioactivity of the drug and the time as a factor in denominator, where the speed of virologic response equal the displacement of virus load over the time. So we planned this study to test whether a dual sofosbuvir daclatasvir treatment duration tailored according to achieving a very rapid virologic response, which is defined as undetectable serum HCV RNA level at week 2, to 8 or 12 weeks is non-inferior to the recommended fixed 12 weeks duration in non serotic chronic HCV genotype 4 patients. The protocol 120 non serotic Coronic HCV patients were randomized to either a fixed 12 weeks duration reference group or a response tailored duration at test group of dual sufosbuvir daclatasvir therapy. The treatment duration was tailored in the test group according to the virus load into 8 weeks for patients who had very rapid virologic response or 12 weeks for those who didn't. We tested the null hypothesis of inferiority of SVR12 rates in the test group with a pre-specified margin of non-inferiority of 0.1 or 10%. And this table shows the SVR12 rates in both groups, both in the intention to treat population and the bare protocol population, where there is no superiority or difference in between groups. While the non-inferiority was declared since the upper bound of the two-sided 95% confidence interval for the absolute difference of SVR12 rates between groups did not exceed the non-inferiority margin of 0.1. No fatalities or serious adverse events were reported during the period of the study and similar rates of non-serious adverse events were reported in both groups with a trend of higher incidence rates in the fixed 12 weeks group and all were mild in severity. In conclusion, the decision of shortening the duration of therapy with dual sofosbuvir daclatasvir to 8 weeks instead of 12 weeks in non-serotic chronic HCV genotype 4 patients if based on achieving serum viral negativity or more than 5 log reduction at week 2 as an on-treatment qualifier could provide a prudent basis for shortening the treatment courses. This could not only reduce the drug exposure and risk of adverse drug reactions, but also cut the cost of full treatment course with such expensive medications by one-third. Thank you very much.